on Jeremy Hansen here. Today I want to talk to you all about fertilizing. And what I did this year was, um, anybody that follows my YouTube channel would know, I tend to go with kind of natural ways of fertilizing. Last year I had buckwheat and uh, clover for my phosphorus and nitrogen. And this year I just put some compost down. And I didn't put it down very thick. I just kind of sprinkled it on top of my mulch layer. And I didn't move my mulch layer back, I just put it on top. And the reasoning behind that is I want the bugs and worms and stuff to take it down in there for me and to mix it up. And I didn't want to pull a bunch of mulch away and damage my feeder roots on my trees. So I just put it on top and just kind of let it go natural. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably come back and put some more mulch on this later on, just kind of seal it. And the reason I went with compost is because I feel like it's a lot more natural way of feeding. Um, it increased the bioactivity, which was what exactly what I want from fertilizing, and it has a lot of available nutrients. And the compost I picked, I talked about, I talked to a few different people about their compost, and the one I picked was actually, um, this is actually just leaves and uh, sticks. They're just broken down over time. So basically, the same thing I'm getting from my mulch, I got my compost. And the reason I went with that was because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to have like any pesticides in my compost, or I didn't want to have any um, kind of uh, penicillin or anything in my compost. Because you know, with when you go with like cow manure or you go with um, food compost, a lot of times you're gonna have pesticides and you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have uh, other stuff in that stuff. And so I just wanted natural, and so I just went with trees. I asked them their ingredients, and that's what they told me. They said it's 100% hardwood mulch broken down and leaves, and so I thought that'd be a good choice for me. And as you can see, I'm getting ready to show a video about my blooms because I've got a few trees coming out. In fact, I think I think my um, Florida king peach is already done blooming for the year. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, there's a nice double peach right there. And there's another little peach. This guy will actually be ripening pretty soon here. Oh, my flavor grenade's coming out right now. And you can see my June gold. And actually, um, I'm trying to hand some grafting right there. Right there, if you can see. We'll see how that goes. And um, this guy is pretty much done for the year. You can see he's really early this is flavorosa and i don't know if he's got a whole lot of spruce set on him i haven't checked yet but he's still got some blooms going and um this guy right here this guy's crazy i can't really show it in a picture it's just like just look at that just look at that i mean you can tell based off the amount of flowers this guy had a ton on him earlier but he's kind of he's kind of dying off and um, are kind of finishing off for the year. I mean, you can still see he's got a lot more on there. And you can see just from the just from the protection I'm getting off the flowers and stuff, they're getting a good kind of organic setup here, and they're getting a lot of uh, a lot of nutrients from my methods. And you can see this is the um, this is another guy that's blooming quite a bit here. This is cotton candy aprium. Hopefully I'll get some fruit set off him this year. But you can see I've got I've got a few trees, not the biggest trees, but they're they've got a lot of flowers. And like I said, I just I want like a natural a natural feeding state for these guys. And this already has like leaves from last year. Last uh, winter when they lost their leaves, the leaves just stayed here, and I've kind of mixed those in with the soil. Look at this guy; he's fixing to come out big time too. Mainly, I wanted to show you guys the uh, compost. I'm really excited about that, and I think it's going to pay big dividends for me this year and even next year, as these trees slowly take it up. This guy's like, this guy's going to come out big time. But I'm gotten sidetracked here with some of the blooms set that I'm going to get. In fact, there's a guy over here. You can see this guy is um, this is Splash. Some good flowers on him. Uh, my flavor supreme is coming out already 
Oh, and while I'm out here, I'll show you guys the from my last video. You all saw that tree I cut back. This is that tree right here. You can see there's a couple inches of growth on him. A couple inches of growth right there. He's actually doing pretty good. This has been, I think, 41 days is what it said. So not too bad. He's got he's got a little bit of growth on him. These other guys too. I planted them at the same time. They're all coming out. There's another one of those uh, atomic red. These two bright ones, that's atomic red nectarine there. Heavy bloom set right there. And there was a guy over here I saw. This guy has quite a few buds on him and I was really excited about this one. I noticed him when I was putting down the compost layer. I did that over here too. And like I said, just a light compost layer here. Nothing, and I didn't didn't disturb the mulch at all. I just left it like that. Um, let me see where he was. This guy's fixing him. He's fixing the leaf out big time. I think it was on this row right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so you can see this guy. He's fixing to come out quite a bit. I mean, look at all those buds on him. So he'll be a really pretty sight. Whenever he he does he started already. Good cross pollination right there. Look at all those buds. And this is flavor grenade. But like I said, mainly I wanted to show you guys the the compost. I just got that done. Like I said, I'm gonna come back later on with a layer of mulch. And here probably this next week I'll probably have a video about my bloom set. And then after that I'll do a video about the fruit set, which I always love that video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, feel free to comment, questions. Uh, Till next time, thank you.